Yes, friends. Hello. We were doing redox reaction, and the definition we have ta taken in terms of oxygen and hydrogen. And I think you all have done that in terms of oxygen. If we are taking oxidation, it is addition of oxygen, and reduction is removal of oxygen. Similarly. If we are taking in terms of hydrogen, removal of hydrogen is oxidation, and addition of hydrogen is reduction. Here I am taking today many reactions of redox. And what do we mean by redox? Redox is when oxidation and reduction both taking place simultaneously. एक साथ हो रही हैं oxidation भी और reduction भी. तब हम उस रिएक्शन को बोलते हैं रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन रिडक्शन से हमने रेड लिया है ऑक्सीडेशन से हमने ऑक्स लिया है तो बन क्या गया रेडॉक्स सो वी आर डूइंग एग्जांपल्स ऑफ रिडॉक्स रिएक्शंस नाउ सपोज आई एम टेलिंग यू फर्स्टली वेरी सिंपल रिएक्शंस कार्बन रिएक्टिंग विद ऑक्सीजन टू गिव सीओ टू एडिशन दैट्स वाई वी कॉल इट एज ऑक्सीडेशन Similarly, magnesium when reacting with oxygen, giving MgO. What you are observing? MgO. Mg से MgO बन रहा है. Addition of oxygen is taking place. That's why oxidation. Carbon से carbon dioxide oxygen is adding up. That's why it is oxidation. But here I am taking now. reactions in which both of the reactions are taking place simultaneously like cuo copper oxide when reacting with hydrogen giving copper and water cuo when getting converted into cu what you are observing friends here oxygen is getting removed and removal of oxygen we call reduction i have given you that concept that removal of oxygen is reduction while hydrogen is getting converted into h2o addition of oxygen we are calling it as oxidation and the reaction is redox why redox reduction and oxidation both are taking place simultaneously ek sath ho rahe hain reduction and oxidation that's why reaction is redox another example zeno zinc oxide when reacting with carbon giving zn plus co here you are observing zno to zn removal of oxygen that's why it is reduction and carbon to carbon monoxide co addition of oxygen and that's why the process is oxidation carbon is getting oxidized to carbon monoxide zinc oxide is getting reduced to zinc reduction reduced so both of the reactions taking place simultaneously that's why reaction is redox one more example fe2o3 plus aluminium giving you al2o3 plus fe here what is happening fe2o3 is getting converted into fe removal of oxygen is taking place that's why you are calling that reaction as reduction aluminium to aluminium oxide al2o3 addition of oxygen here taking place and that's why we call it as oxidation fe2o3 is getting reduced al is getting oxidized into al2o3 next examples i am taking here mno2 manganese oxide hydrochloric acid giving you mncl2 manganese chloride water and cl2 gas evolving out here i am taking mno2 to mncl2 oxygen is getting removed friends that's why this process mn o2 to mno2 to mncl2 is a reduction and in case of this hcl2 cl2 hydrogen is getting removed hcl is getting converted into cl2 h is getting removed removal of hydrogen is called 
oxidation. Now, next reaction. I have taken many examples for you. Still, if you are not able to get the idea of this redox, you can ask me. H2S, hydrogen sulfide, H2S. Reacting with SO2, giving sulfur and water. H2S, what is happening? H2S is getting converted into sulfur. What is happening here? H is getting removed. If H is getting removed, the process is called oxidation. Here, SO2 is getting converted into S. What is getting removed from SO2? O is getting removed. Removal of oxygen is called reduction. Reduction, oxidation simultaneously. That's why reaction is redox. Next, H2S plus Cl2 giving twice of HCl plus S. This is a reaction equation. H2S to S. You can make out now, students. After so many examples, you can easily get it that H2S is getting converted to sulfur. H is getting removed. Hydrogen is getting removed. Removal of hydrogen is oxidation. Cl to HCl. Chlorine is getting converted into HCl, hydrochloric acid. Addition of hydrogen. We are calling it as reduction. Addition of hydrogen. Reduction. Reduction and oxidation simultaneously. That means reaction is redox. MgO plus C is giving Mg plus CO. MgO se hum ja rahe magnesium par. Oxygen remove ho raha hai. Oxygen is getting removed. Reaction is called reduction. Carbon se carbon monoxide par aare hai. Oxygen is adding up. That's why reaction is called oxidation. Next. MnO2, manganese oxide. Reacting with aluminium. Giving Mn plus Al2O3. Here what is happening? As you are coming from MnO2 to Mn, oxygen is getting removed. Oxygen is getting removed. That means runs reduction. From aluminium to Al2O3, oxygen is getting added. That's why we call it as oxidation. And the reaction is obviously redox. So we have taken lots of examples here of redox reaction students. Now I am telling you one more term related to this redox reaction and that is oxidizing agent. What is this oxidizing agent? Substance which is giving oxygen for oxidation is called oxidizing agent. If suppose we, I ask you that what is what do you mean by reservation agent or ticket agent? We can say person who provide ticket for traveling that is traveling agent. So here substance which providing oxygen for oxidation we call it as oxidizing agent. Or we can say in terms of hydrogen substance which is taking away hydrogen, which is taking hydrogen with it is also what? Oxidizing agent. Because removal of hydrogen if you are knowing. As you know that removal of hydrogen is oxidation. So, substance which is taking hydrogen with it will be what? Oxidizing agent. Substance which is responsible for the oxidation. That's why we are calling it as oxidizing agent. Similarly, reducing agent. We have done addition of hydrogen is reduction. So, whichever substance providing hydrogen will be reducing agent. Or whichever substance which is taking oxygen with it is reducing agent. Any substance which is taking away oxygen with it is reducing agent. Or a very simple thing. 
सब्सटेंस विच इज अंडर गोइंग ऑक्सीडेशन जहां ऑक्सीडेशन हो रहा है वो खुद कैसे काम करता है इट एक्ट लाइक रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट एंड वाइस वर्सा सब्सटेंस अंडर गोइंग रिडक्शन इट सेल्फ एक्ट एज ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट हाउ आई एम टेकिंग ऑल द रियक्शन अगेन एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट विच इज ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट एंड विच वन इज रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट लाइक स्टूडेंट सी यू ओ इज गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड इन टू सी यू प्रोसेस इज रिडक्शन वाई बिकॉज ऑक्सीजन इज गेटिंग रिमूव एंड हाइड्रोजन इज गेटिंग ऑक्सीडाइज ऑक्सीजन इज गेटिंग एडेड अप सो हियर दिस हाइड्रोजन विच इज अंडर गोइंग ऑक्सीडेशन ऑक्सीडेशन हो रहा है ना यहां से एच टू से एच टू आ रहे हैं ऑक्सीडेशन हो रहा है सब्सटेंस विच इज अंडर गोइंग ऑक्सीडेशन आर कॉल्ड रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट सो दिस हाइड्रोजन विल एक्ट लाइक रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट सी यू ओ इज गेटिंग रिड्यूस्ड यहां पर रिडक्शन हो रहा है जहां रिडक्शन हो रहा है वो स्पीशी खुद कैसे एक्ट करती है एज अ ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट नाउ द नेक्स्ट रिएक्शन जेडेनो जेडेनो इज अंडर गोइंग रिडक्शन ऑक्सीजन इज गेटिंग रिमूव रिडक्शन हो रहा है तो वो खुद क्या है जेडेनो इट सेल्फ इज एक्टिंग लाइक ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट ह्यूर कार्बन इज गेटिंग ऑक्सीडाइज एडिशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन so it itself will act as reducing agent here also fe2o3 removal of oxygen reduction this is undergoing reduction so it will act like agar yahan reduction ho raha hai to wo kaise act karega students it will act like oxidizing agent okay aluminum is getting oxidized that's why it itself will act like reducing agent now i am giving you rest of the reaction as homework do it identify that which substance is acting like oxidizing agent and which one is acting like reducing agent and if any problem arises you can ask me in 6 to 10 reaction you have to identify that which is oxidizing agent and which one is the reducing agent now the next what is the application of redox reaction i am telling you the most common application of the redox reaction is corrosion here what is happening students iron if left outside in open after some time it develop a coating over it which you call as rust so that rust iron reacting with oxygen moist air se jo oxygen mil raha hai usse reaction kar raha hai to kya bana raha hai fe2o3 dot xh2 number of water is variable that's why i have written xh2 because moisture content i am not sure about it that how much amount of water vapors are present in the atmosphere that's why xh2 okay so what is happening with iron oxidation is taking place so corrosion or rusting of iron be a example of redox here students you must you can ask me that how reduction is taking place here only the oxygen is getting added to iron how then reduction so students one more concept is there of reduction and oxidation in terms of electrons we have done oxidation and reduction in terms of oxygen and hydrogen only but one more term is there in terms of electron we can also explain reduction and oxidation by that term we can prove that corrosion is a redox reaction but that concept i will tell you later so because in your syllabus only ox reduction and oxidation is there in terms of oxygen and hydrogen that's why we have completed that students next is as we are doing oxidation students oxidation of some chemicals we have done like carbon when burning getting oxidized into co2 food material can also undergo oxidation how in terms of rancidity i am telling you 
This is the last topic of this chapter, students. Rancidity. What is it? It is oxidation of fats and oil in the food stuff. Oxidation of fats and oils. Suppose I am taking one example, like if mixture we are keeping for long time, and after that if we open the container. you can have you can get a very bad smell from it whatever stale food material if you are keeping for long time like butter if you are keeping for long time in open it will also acquire a bad smell that bad smell is actually oxidation of fat and oil atmospheric air atmospheric oxygen is reacting with the food material so whatever food material is having fat or oil in it if exposed to air for air for a long time get oxidized and that phenomena is called what rancidity oxidation of fats and oils okay now the question arises that the question arises that How can we prevent this rancidity? कैसे हम बचा सकते हैं फूड मटेरियल को रेंसिड होने से देर आर मेनी मेथड बाई विच वी कैन प्रिवेंट आर फूड मटेरियल फ्रॉम बिकमिंग रेंसिड बाई वैक्यूम पैकिंग और कीपिंग द फूड मटेरियल इन एयर टाइट कंटेनर्स एयर टाइट कंटेनर्स इफ एयर विल नॉट एंटर देन the food will not become rancid replacing air by nitrogen gas as you know or i can take example students you are in habit of eating wafers like uncle chips like crackers like uh, kurkure and many more i am not knowing many many more are there so that packets are containing air into it and without air you cannot purchase that इसमें एयर नहीं है ये लीक हो गई है एयर इसमें हम नहीं लेंगे तो विच एयर इज देयर विच गैस इज देयर एक्चुअली इन इट नाइट्रोजन गैस इज फील्ड इन इट दिस नाइट्रोजन गैस इज बैड इट इट इज नॉन रिएक्टिव एंड दस इट डू नॉट अलाउ ऑक्सीजन टू रिएक्ट विद द फूड मटेरियल इट इज इनर्ट एंड दस वी फिल नाइट्रोजन गैस इन द फूड material next is refrigeration refrigeration if you keep the material or the food material in the refrigerator due to low temperature oxygen cannot able to react with the food material and thus food material can be prevented from getting rancid so this is again a method of preventing rancidity next is by adding antioxidants antioxidants like natural antioxidant i am telling you vitamin c vitamin e are the natural antioxidants which prevent the food material from getting rancid the main material which prevent the main substance which prevent the food from getting rancid is nitrogen gas students if some question comes that how or the which substance can prevent rancidity you can write nitrogen gas okay all these are the methods by which we can prevent rancidity is it clear students so in this way we have completed this chapter students now i will upload you the questions related with this chapter and my homework is do all the ncert question of this chapter nicely and in any of the question if you find any difficulty you can ask me and extra questions i will upload you okay students thank you